welcome back. Okay, so I've fitted my, a bit hard to see, but i fitted my front white booms and I've even fitted the GoPro gimbal mount. Uh, guy who owns this is going to be using a GoPro for the moment. So I've fitted that arm as opposed to the APS-C um, arm and bracket. Um, I've fitted my side booms and my rear booms and I've got my tail out the back. So that is pretty much the vampire starting to take shape and look sort of like what it's going to end up being looking like. Alright, so the next thing I need to do is fit my ESCs. Now before I fit them, I want to program them. Okay, I've covered that in another video, but you take your programming card plug the ESC lead into it, power up it up, and program the ESC. So I'm going to go away and do all that now to the six ESCs, and I'll come back when I'm ready to fit them. Okay, so I've done the other five ESCs, but I thought I'd show you the last one. So I happen to have this little, um, it's a 2S LiPo that has a JST connector on it, which makes this little process a bit easier. So basically, the ESC plugs into the programming card, okay, which I'll turn around your way. Power up the ESC, just make sure that the motor wires aren't touching each other or anything. After a second the LEDs will light up. And basically what we do, we want break off, which is default. We want the battery type is, uh, I, I like to keep it at lithium. Other guys will suggest you run it, run it at nickel, but I like to run it at lithium. That's really got to do with the cutoff. We want a soft cutoff. Right, we want the voltage sense on the cutoff to be low, so I've used the up and down arrow to scroll down to that, the left right arrow to go to it. Now, you need to hit the load, sorry, you need to hit the default button once you get there, the OK button once you get there. So down, across, OK, it'll flash, and that's set. We want normal start mode. We want timing at low for the 775 motors. The 1175s I run at medium. They're the ones that, uh, so low on the big motors, medium on the small motors that come on the uh, stealth armors. Um, okay, and you wanna make sure governor mode is off. I don't play around with the music Got enough, it makes enough noise when it boots up. We don't need it singing Yankee Doodle Dandy or something like that when it's done. All right, so unplug power, and that's now done. So that's all six of my ESCs programmed up. Grab my frame back. Grab my block for it to sit on. And now we want to position them. Now, I like, I've said previously, I like to try and keep it symmetrical. Just helps with the balance. The other thing I like to do is get um, anything I've got a camera mount on the front of, any sort of gimbal mount on the front of, I try and move the weight in the airframe to the back. Because I'm going to be moving the LiPo back to counterbalance this anyway. So any extra weight I can actually move back. I do so. So I try and actually move the weight to the rear as I'm doing this. So, I mentioned before, a double sided tape, which I like to use. The kit does come with some um, cable ties. I've actually been given this, this stuff to try, so I'm gonna give it a go and see how it goes. This is a little bit thinner than the double-sided tape I normally use. We'll just see with this first ESC how it works out. I'm already not liking it because it doesn't peel off easily. Okay, so ESC number one, I'm gonna pop right in there. Now I like to actually put them over these gaps because they actually vent nicely, all right? So, I'm gonna go this sounds a bit counterintuitive, but I'm actually going to plug it into the most opposite JST plug on the Voltaire. Not the closest. So what it does is it just gets 
some of the excess wiring out of the way if I go work away from myself rather than close to myself. Okay, if I'd have plugged in here, I'd have all this excess wire here. Servo wire, I'm just going to leave sitting down in that gap for the moment. And I'm going to grab the three motor wires and plug them into this motor in no particular order. I'll be going through and doing the motor directions later on and probably have to change those. So I'm just going to leave them hanging out there for the moment. They'll get a cable tie in a bit in a while. So I'm going to go through and do the rest and I'll come back. See you soon. Okay, so you can see how this is starting to get a little untidy, but I've got all six of my ESCs in place now. They're all plugged in. And I've got one lead left, which will go up to the Andromeda LED array. So now what I'm gonna do is check all my motor directions and tidy up all this wiring and I'll come back. Okay, so I've done all my motor directions. I use a speed control, a uh, little servo tester. You actually get one with a vampire kit and most of the kits that have a servo, they give you one, which is really handy. So I've used that. One at a time I've fired up each motor, checked its direction, swapped a pair on the motor wires if I've needed to, uh, and then I've just bundled up those wires. Um, uh, what I also like to do is just put a bit of heat shrink over the join of the motor leads, um, just to neaten them up and make sure they don't come undone, make sure they're insulated and all that sort of stuff, it's a good idea. So I've got my wires all bundled up, I've made a little bit of a loom of the ESC wires. Now I haven't put the servo wire through because this is a split top. This is the new two piece top going on this so I can actually do that later. I've got one JST connector hanging out for the Andromeda. As you can see, I haven't really needed to do too much with the wiring in the center because using those opposing, the opposing lead theory, it sort of just almost self bundles it and I've still got my power connection hanging out the back here. The instructions say to cable tie it down. Uh, I actually like to cable tie it to the top plate after I'm finished. Um, I don't know, it just seems easier to get on and the, the power plug on and off if it's actually a little bit higher and you're bending over the airframe. So, um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, that's ready now for me to pop the top plate on. So I'm going to do that. I won't put you through the tedious part of that. So I'll... Um, pop the top plate on and I'll come back. Okay, so there's the top plate in place. Now what I've done as I've done that, as part of screwing the top plate on, I've made sure I've visibly checked that absolutely no wires are pinched between the carbon plate and the blocks. A friend's um, Stealth Recon actually did a flip about 30 feet up in the air and broke two arms and a prop to bent a motor mount because we found out that he actually bought it second hand and we didn't pull it apart and check it and we actually found one of the motor wires was actually pinched between a block and the top plate when we actually pulled it apart to try and work out what had gone wrong so important tip there so while I've actually been doing all that I've also set the motor angles as per the manual so basically the front ones tilt back the back ones tilt forward by three degrees and the middle ones are flat so I've set all those angles as I've tightened those screws up now here's the thing that's really great about this removable centerpiece is I can actually still get in here and do wiring and stuff I could actually do my motor directions and all that sort of stuff I can replace an ESC just by pulling this plate off all right so I'm not gonna this plate won't be going on just permanently yet because this will be part of the next set of videos which is the electronic core setup and build but that's how that plate goes on leaves me lots of nice wire access I'll come back to that later so pretty much well as that is the core of the frame done the one thing I didn't do was put the top plate of the the, the tail on and I'm going to do um, that off camera. So anyway, there's the main frame done. Bye.